Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with some more Distant Worlds Universe. Last time, um, the Gazurians went ahead and they declared war on our allies here, the, uh, um, the, the Akuros, uh, from the Asilis Major Enclave. So, uh, in this episode here, we're gonna go ahead and begin our war against the Gazurians. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try, try to make a grab for Gazuria 1. And, uh, hey, look awesome that our proton thrusters have just gotten an improvement from the research that has just been completed. And it looks like we're about to have another another boost in, um, well, say another uh, tech uh, that's going to be completing sh very shortly. But anyways, uh, to go ahead and achieve this objective, I'm going to make sure that, um, okay, sorry, I got a little distracted there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that Strike Force Alpha is fully loaded, that they've got a, a full complement of troops. However, at the current time, they are... Um, they're sort of waiting because we are still putting down rebellions on our planets. Uh, we definitely have enough forces to hold these planets, uh, but we don't have enough forces. Uh, well, we, we probably do, but I don't feel like picking up these forces and going off and fighting a war and then losing these planets. So for now, we're going to keep our, our troops here basically uh, uh, take down the rebellion and then uh, then once that is done, then we can begin our actual attacks against the Gazurians. Now, um, I realize I've been kind of sort of just sort of drifting through this uh, this game here. I've just been kind of going, okay, from this point to this point to this point to this point. And what I wanted to do is I was like, you know what? I need to start out outlining some objectives, some things I'm really trying to, to shoot for. Like right now, yes, it's the standard uh, expand, build the build up our world destroyer uh, kind of sort of setup, but. Um, you know, play the objectives, but I, you know, I've, I want I want some actual like personal objectives. Um, one being that I wanted to pick up that um, that planet, and I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, there was that one very cool planet uh, that I saw earlier. Is was it in this system here? I cannot remember exactly where it was. I will find it. Uh, basically, it was uh, the, the the planet with the, the the cool fortress on it, and I want to find out where that is. And see if I can go ahead and um, take take that uh, take that planet. So that's one objective I want to work towards. To do that, though, I'm going to need to sort of um, we'll say hop my way over. I'm going to have to sort of leapfrog my way over this. So I'm going to need to find maybe a um, maybe a pirate. Uh, actually, that would be a great idea if I could find a pirate-owned planet uh, somewhere over here. I don't think I, I will be able to find one of those, but. Um, if I find something like that, or if, well, I might even have to start uh, start up a war with somebody and basically make my way over in this direction here, I can expand out this way. Uh, let's see, our engineers have completed research in single layer planetary defense. What does this do exactly? Uh, this breakthrough provides increase uh, increases the defense strength of newly recruited planetary defense units. So, uh, any new planetary defense unit we go ahead and recruit will be uh, that much more powerful, which is great because we are now currently at war. So what I'm wondering if what we should do, I should go through my all my colonies, uh, basically start disbanding my current defense groups, and uh, building new um, new planetary uh, defense troops. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead uh, through every one of my one of my planets, um, and basically uh, build build one new defense unit, and then I can go ahead and uh, disband the old one once the new one's built. And that'll help because, uh, we're, like I said, we're we're likely going to be t getting some attacks from the Gazurians. Uh, and then once the rebellions have been uh, put down, we're going to get Strike Force Alpha to invade this planet, and uh, then Strike Force Bravo and Charlie. Though I want them in a harassing role, so what I'm thinking of doing is uh, I need to find out where their mining bases are, and I want to start hitting Gazurian mining bases to really sort of uh, cripple their economy more than you know as pathetic as it already is. All right, so we've already we've gone ahead and put down the rebellion. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and leave until their mood actually switches into the neutral, though, uh, because if I if I if I go ahead and I, I leave now, there's still a chance they might still rebel. So we're gonna wait a bit. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. That is uh, the plan uh, uh, as well. In addition to that, oh wait, we've got what is this? We have a Gazurian exploration ship. Uh, this tells me here that they are probably considering an attack in the Zeta Pasolo system, um, which, hmm, which actually I wouldn't mind because that means that our uh, Strike Force Alpha would be able to, we'll say, intercept that. But, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start building the, the planetary uh, defense units, and then I will be back with you guys uh, momentarily. 
All right, and it looks like the Gazurian exploration ship is not going anywhere. We've uh, caught it in some hyper deny, and our fleet uh, is about to just destroy it. So, um, I, I realize it's not really that valuable of a, of a ship, but at least the Gazurians don't have any eyes on us. But it does uh, uh, remind me of something else I wanted to do. Um, if we look at the Empire comparison screen, we see that the, we're at, wow, we're in second place. We are right below the Great Meridian Alliance. I don't like the Great Meridian Alliance. They are our rivals at this point. We want to take them out. So what I want to do is actually, while I'm in this war, you know, I, I've got a multitask here. I want to send uh, an exploration ship over into their territory. And I want to start, um, we'll say, uh, maybe putting up uh, pirate missions to attack some of their mining bases. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell, my, uh, tell my exploration ship to go... Uh, Hang out over there. Uh, why don't you go ahead and explore, uh, or... Actually, wait. That's already been identified. I can probably see if they have any mining bases in these systems already. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, but, yeah, that's right. If I, if I recall correctly, you need to actually have a... Uh, you need to have, actually have a, a ship in system before you can go ahead and assign a mission. Yeah. So, wh wh what I'll do is I'll still go ahead and send over my exploration ship. Now, it does look like my exploration ship. Where are, are you? Oh, you're all the way down there. I was like wondering why the range was so short. So, I'm going to go ahead and first get my uh, my ship refueled. And then I'm going to go ahead and send my exploration ship over there and start looking for sort of targets of opportunity. And hopefully, we can go ahead and get some... Um, uh, you know, like some uh, some missions going, some pirate missions to start damaging them a bit, uh, because I'm sort of setting my sights on them. They're the next the next real target here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and tell my exploration ship to go ahead and refuel here at Dagon, and then they'll be ready for it'll be ready for its missions over in uh, Meridian space. Uh, game starting to run a little bit slow. Yeah, that tends to happen when you're keeping track of thousands of ships r moving around uh, the galaxy. So yet again, we've discovered yet another smuggling ship, and we're starting to notice them more and more often. Actually, we just destroyed two in a row. Uh, the first one will probably have been cut out um, due to editing, but uh, there was one right here that just got uh, got destroyed. Now, since this planet is, I'm fairly confident, will be ours, we're going to go ahead and build a spaceport and a defensive base around it. Uh, like I said, I, I want to be able to secure these planets thoroughly uh, before we really... Uh, before we really sort of leave uh, leave the area, uh, because we are at war, and there is the the, the possibility that the um, the Gazurians will warp on in and you know start uh, messing up our stuff, and we don't want that to happen. So basically, I'm making sure that every planet has a uh, a defensive base around it. So I'm basically going around to each of my planets, and I realize this is going to cost me a ton of cash, uh, but uh, it, it needs to be done. It needs to be done. It, well, I guess maybe it doesn't need to be done. I'm sp I, I suppose there's cheaper ways of uh, ensuring the security of my uh, my my planets, but um, I, I figure I figure it's a worthwhile investment. Uh, you know, a large large strike force will uh, easily overrun <laughs> overrun a single base, but you know maybe if we can at least buy a little bit of time, then you know that, that's all I can really ask for, right? You know, I can. Take a little bit, take a few of them down with me. Um, plus, you know, these uh, these extra, we'll say, building missions, those, those should help to, uh, I don't know, maybe it'll give some more jobs for the, uh, the private sector to go ahead and start moving things around. All right, so, uh, let's go ahead and double check here the planet. I'm pretty sure they're still sad, so I don't want to go ahead and uh, pull my troops off just yet. However, Strike Force Bravo, I've got them, uh, I've basically told them to go ahead and refuel. Uh, so where are where are you guys? Strike Force Bravo. Okay, so they're refueling right now. Uh, so I'll be able to go ahead and send them out uh, on an attack mission shortly. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to hit. Uh, I figure it would be a good idea maybe to send Bravo into uh, this system here, uh, the Xuria system, because we know that that's where we're going to be eventually moving in uh, to uh, take over this colony. I'm just kind of wondering if they had any mining bases in the, the nearby area. Yeah, I guess that's that's one benefit of we'll say getting uh, the exploration ships in there. However, let me see where's my other exploration ship? It's still going off to refuel to do stuff against the Great Meridian Alliance. I could grab another exploration ship 
And, uh, you know, I might do that if I find one that's close by. I'll go ahead and grab a nearby exploration ship and uh, send it over here into Gazurian space to s sort of uh, pick a target. Now, I do notice here that the 27th fleet of the Gazurians is uh, in the Isian uh, uh, Prime uh, system. Ooh, it looks like we, uh, our friends may be losing a planet. That's, uh, that's upsetting. Come on, guys, you can fight back, fight back! Get some of your ships in the system! Oh, man, yeah, it, it looks like, uh, actually, their shields are pretty good. I don't think the Gazurians have very potent weapons. Look how many ships they're using to... Oh, these are just frigates, though. But it's taking them quite a few ships to be able to even take down this defensive battery. Yeah, it, it, yeah, that, that's a lost plan for our ally. Ugh. Now, I'm wondering, because I know you can do trade deals with uh, your allies. I'm wondering if I could go ahead and take this planet and then give it back to them. No, no, I'm going to let them fight the battle on their own front. Uh, I'm, and I'm going to focus over on this side here. That's unfortunate. Okay, I was actually just looking over the troops menu, and uh, I was looking at, uh, because I noticed my cash flow was going low, and I was like, eh, how worth it are these extra units? And uh, I've already gone ahead and disbanded uh, uh, pretty much almost all of the ones that I uh, just queued up earlier, because I noticed the defense value was, their defense strength was exactly the same. So that's got me wondering, does that mean that... Uh, one of the uh, the technology we got last time was only applicable to uh, our human units, or is it because um, is it uh, that it's uh, I guess after the fact? I don't know. Let me see. It, it increases the interception accuracy of all planetary defense. Oh, so it's not necessarily wait of all. That, that's not the- is that the last one we just got? No, it was superior defense tactics, right? Increases the defense strength of newly recruited infantry. Infantry! Not defense units! Oh! Okay, I am a stupid! <laughs> Alright, so, I, I, I'm glad I caught that because the maintenance cost on planetary defense units is extremely high. So what I should have been doing was building, uh, the standard troops, the standard infantry. Uh, that, those are the guys who get the bonus. So let's go ahead and, uh, we'll, we'll do a test run here. We'll go, um, the blue planet and we'll build one group of, uh, infantry and we'll be able to compare their strengths to the ones that are currently there. Uh, I wanna, I wanna double check that before I go ahead and I start, we'll say, mass producing infantry here, but... So it does appear that the Gazurians have taken over, uh, Incian Prime. Uh, and that is, uh, that is, that is unfortunate. Uh, Strikeforce Bravo is en route to, uh, Gazuria 1, and, uh, so we'll be able to get a view of that system, uh, shortly, and, you know, we'll be able to go in there and maybe make them pay for what they've done to our allies. Or, ally. Singular. Alright, it would appear, you know, I, I'm looking at the, the, really, uh, the, the, um, the happiness level of... Oh, give me a second here. The Intelligence Network has uncovered a covert arrangement of the Rotal Prime Collective. The Rotal Prime Collective have made a secret deal with a pirate faction, the Annuit Prime Force, to attack the ships and bases of the Kalarba Major Confederation. Uh, you know, I don't care. We'll just keep this information to ourselves. Whatever. Um, however, I did notice here that this this planet here, their their um, their happiness, it's it's getting close to neutral. So I figure now is the time to go ahead and uh, sort of set up a garrison, and then we can go ahead and uh, move on to. Uh, ooh, ooh, this is, this looks, uh, this looks like a nice development. We'll get to that in a second. Don't get distracted. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead down to this really weird looking name, which I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce. I'm just gonna rename that. I'm, gonna, I'm renaming that planet soon. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, give, um, we'll give them special forces, some infantry, and a planetary defense unit. And we're gonna garrison those selected troops on this planet. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and rename this planet to something a little bit more pronounceable than Oural. Ural? Oural. Actually, that's not that's not too hard to pronounce. Okay, never mind. Oural is it's, it's good. And then we're gonna go ahead and load up our troops. Uh, because I think we should be able to uh, to hold that for now. Now, uh, if I recall correctly, we do have the two other uh, planets we've taken. Let's see what the, let's let's just double check what their uh, happiness is at. They're sort of neutral, and their uh, planet Sean is incredibly happy. So. Awesome. So we've got, uh, 
we've got three planets in the Xenopasolo system that are currently developing. Oh, actually, sorry, two of them are pretty much already fully developed, so that's amazing. And we're loading our troops up. So once we get those loaded up, we'll be able to go ahead and get them refueled and start using them uh, in our attacks, in our in our war against the Gazurians. Strike Force Bravo still en route to Gazuria. I I decided to uh, get Strike Force Charlie. I'm gonna actually send them up here to uh, assist with, uh, we'll say, the fight against the um, the Gazurians up uh, uh, up here to help the uh, help the uh, Silas Major Enclave take their planet back. Now, the Great Cadian Territory a second ago contacted us, and they're giving us military refueling. Our relationship with them is going good. I've been giving them a lot of, we'll say, uh, presents and talking with them a lot and stuff. And we're, they're friendly with us with a plus 36. So that's awesome. We now have uh, military refueling rights in their territory. Bit by bit, I'm like, we're going to get that mutual defense pact with them. And then it'll be glorious. So we'll have blue and then the green. And yes, this will be good. This will be excellent. All right. So the Great Canadian Territory is pleased to offer us uh, um, our... our um, uh, offer us mining rights within their empire and a mutual defense pact has been offered our good friends We feel that it would be in both our best interest to form a mutual defense pact This would discourage others from launching attacks against either of us. What do you think? Yes, we join you in a mutual defense pact We are honored by your acceptance. May this agreement be strong and profitable. Yes. I'd like to discuss something else I'm curious. Will you uh, be declare war on the Gazarian conformity? You will. Oh Yes Long live the Empire! <laughs> Would you accept this trade? We accept your proposal. Alright, so we've uh, basically we've roped the Kaedians uh, into uh, helping us in our war against the, uh, the Gazurians. Uh, which might not be a bad thing because Strike Force Bravo is about to jump into a system with a lot of Gazurian ships. Like, this is actually a very bad situation for us to be in. We've got three defensive bases around there and, uh, uh a lot of ships. Strike Force Bravo is not equipped to, uh, to handle this. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna... Uh, that's a mining ship. I don't wanna hit the mining ship. Uh, we need to... I wanna hit a mining base and then warp out a system. Now what's gonna happen is these ships here are gonna be uh, turning to intercept us. So they're gonna be, all be warping up here. And the second they warp up there, my... I'm hoping Bravo will already be down here blasting it and then jumping out a system. So we're gonna be doing some very, we'll say, tricky timing in our maneuvers. Um... Because, uh, like I said, they, they are going to get torn apart by the Gazurians. The Gazurians are, they've greatly outnumbered us in the system. We're going to definitely, definitely need to wait until Strike Force Alpha is ready before we're launching a full attack here. All right. Yeah. Oh, no. They intercepted. They knew where we were heading. Um. Uh. Let's see. Let's see if uh, Strike Force Bravo's got the. See, these are a lot of smaller ships, though. Maybe I'm getting intimidated by numbers and not necessarily by strength. Because these are a lot of smaller ships, and I've got cruisers. Let's see how Strike Force Bravo does. Because it doesn't look like they've warped over all of their ships yet. So let's see how Strike Force Bravo does. Uh, let's see, what, what are they sending in? They're sending in destroyers. Destroyers have got a little bit heavier firepower. Uh, yeah, there's a lot here. I don't think we can. Uh, Unless we like focus fire, I'm gonna try it. We're gonna we're gonna get a little daring here. We're gonna get a little daring here. Strike Force Bravo, let's see what you guys are made of. Uh, we are definitely outnumbered, but I want to uh, basically prioritize fire on the uh, destroyers. Yeah, our our shields are definitely holding here. So the Gazirian Conformity has ended their war against the Assault Major Enclave. Ah. Uh, Unfortunately, you went ahead and you uh, you dragged us into this, and I'm not ready yet to, to, to quit. No, no, no. Uh, when I when I get into a war, I'm like, no, 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 no. You started this. You're gonna you're gonna pay for it. This is this was our team. You you may have made peace with the Assault Major Enclave, but I will not be happy until you, each and every last one of you is wiped off the. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little bit a little bit too uh, war hungry. Dang. Okay, hey guys, uh, this guy's getting slammed pretty hard. I think you need to get, um, give him a little backup. Uh, he needs to, uh, escape. I think he needs to escape. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that ship, that, that cruiser is definitely really hurt. Uh, jump out of system. Get out of system. Let the rest of the Strike Force Bravo go ahead and, uh, okay. Go ahead, just root, warp out. You need to repair and refuel. Come on, you can do it. 
Dang. Strike Force Bravo really, uh. Yeah, Gazurian's got a lot of smaller ships, but they just don't have the uh they got they've got the numbers, they just don't have the firepower. That was amazing. That was beautiful. Yeah. Especially seeing how weak their military is right now, I'm like, oh dear goodness, they wouldn't stand a chance against Strike Force Alpha. I'm like, I am taking their planets. I am gonna capitalize on this. You can make peace with the Assilis Major Enclave, but I see a major opportunity here. And I, since I'm not the aggressor, you know, I, I just came into the system, I'm helping out my ally. Uh, I see a, a, an amazing opportunity here. Yes. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh... Ooh, 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 get away from that defensive base. Uh, that, that's something I don't think you can handle. Okay, guys, warp out. Th those defensive bases are gonna chew you apart. Get out of there, you idiot! Ah, oh, you idiots! This, this ship's getting himself destroyed. Come on, you can warp out in time. You can do it. Get out of there. You idiot! Darn, I lost a cruiser. Darn it! <sighs> I didn't tell them to go do that, and they're not even automated, but they I guess they saw another enemy within system and they just figured, hey, we're gonna go ahead and attack that. Alright, so, uh, we need to go ahead and re, um, re, uh, we'll say, bolster the strength of Strike Force Bravo. Uh, which reminds me, Strike Force Charlie, how are you doing? You are halfway up to NCN Prime. So, we're gonna be, uh, hitting them up there as well. I'm curious, what is, uh, their military sitting at right now? Uh, it's still, it's still pretty, uh, pretty important. I don't think we did, did that much damage to them, but, you know, we will. We will. Uh, so it looks like uh, Strike Force uh, Bravo is heading down to Kilimar 3 to uh, to go ahead and uh, repair and refuel. So I figure this is probably a decent place to go ahead and build uh, the uh, replacement ships. We'll bu build two new cruisers, which we will fold into Strike Force Bravo. J just give them a little bit more uh, extra firepower for the next time. All right. Uh, realizing our, our fuel might have been getting a little low, I decided to get to Strike Force Charlie to stop. Um, stop traveling up towards here and actually refuel a little bit in a Sils Major, uh, territory. However, more importantly, a new intelligence agent named Matthias Keske has appeared at the Blue Planet. Let's go ahead and check out Mr. Mr. Mathia. Uh, where are you at? Are you, are you cool? Are you very cool? He's espionage and sabotage. You know what? Let's get you started right away. Because... I definitely want to get you started right away. I want to- I'm, I'm building you into the next- the next big intelligence agent guy. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, I want to basically start you off with some easy stuff. So stealing territory maps of the Gazurian Conformity. Eh, that's pretty easy. Can I get some, maybe a, another target I would like a little bit more, like the Great Meridian Alliance? Let's see, steal territory map, I'll give you a year, 93%. Good first mission for you. If you survive a few more missions and your skills go, get up, I'll give you a custom name. Check that action out. That's right, custom name. I love having mutual defense packs because you get to see all like all of like the civilian ships as well. So get, being able to see all the Kaidian ships now at where they're traveling is just so neat. Uh, and you know, if we go ahead and turn on travel vectors for like state ships and private ships, uh, oh, that's only for our ships, unfortunately. But I don't know. It just looks really cool. And when I mean, you consider how many different. Um, Another pirate, uh, uh, a smuggling ship detected. Um, got a couple of deadly plagues uh, have broken out. One up here in the Great Meridian Alliance uh, territory, and uh, one over here in the T by the Tekken uh, Corporation territory. But anyways, I, I don't know. I just, I just think that is so cool when you uh, are able to start seeing where all the other uh, ships are. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, actually, on that note, let me go ahead and see where are we in victory conditions. We're still in second. Uh, let's see how many. We're 70% done making mutual defense packs, so I think if we make uh, one more mutual defense pack, we are going to be, uh, we're going to be set. We're going to be done with that, and then after that, we're going to need to focus on getting continental colonies. Because right now we only, is it, do we only own one continental colony? Yeah, so if we, we, if we got some more continental colonies, uh, and, you know, continue what we're doing with uh, expansion and population, that, and then we should actually be able to, get, uh, we'll say, edge ourselves up into first place. And that would be uh, excellent. 
and det yet again, another pirate smuggler has been detected. Uh, right here from the, uh, Lennis clan. Wait. So there's, wait, is there one there? And there's, what about this one? Uh, what about this? Oh, that's the passenger ship. Okay, so that, that, that one's, that's not the pirate. This is the pirate. But wait, it turned white again. Wait, this one here? So we have another one right here. That's so interesting. I, I, we've been noticing those a lot more. Now, now I know we uh, we actually did get a, an um, technology increase not too long ago. Where was it? Um, research breakthrough. Our engineers have completed research in advanced sensors. This breakthrough provides improvements to the existing component basic, basic proximity array. But I don't think that actually has anything to do with. Um, let me see. Advanced sensors. Uh, basic. Basically, it's hyper jump tracking. So all that does is detect, uh, yeah, it just detects where they're going to be jumping. So I don't see wh how that would, uh, I don't see how that would uh, do anything. Maybe the ship scanning? Oh, the trace scanner. When did we get this? Maybe that's, actually that might be it right there. Because we can see the, um, the other ship's components, what they're carrying, and all that. Like, for example, here, uh, Brazen Guy, which I'm pretty sure is a pirate ship, and these guys have, haven't forgotten. It's still listed as independent, but we haven't forgotten. Let's see, if we go ahead and take a look at it, we can't see cargo or anything. Huh. Okay, so we, we, can, we, we can see the components. Either way, we, we could scan ships now. And that's probably how we're able to detect uh, smugglers and uh, the like. Right, and I actually realized that I've kind of neglected um, following up with, say, uh, research bonuses. Now, obviously our research capacity is really, really high. Um, so actually, I don't even really think we, we need our, our research station so much anymore. However, they do still give us current bonuses, but the bonuses right now are pretty, pretty pitiful. Uh, let's, let's, let's actually take a look at this here. Our weapons research, we get 10% extra. Energy research, 11%, and high tech, 11. You know, plus the you know the 50% high tech research from the recent tech, uh, technology installation, and uh, 15 b a bonus to energy research from supplies of research of uh, you know natter and incense to our colonies. But basically, weapons, energy, and high tech are currently only sitting at 10. Uh, we'll see what was it, what is it here? Sorry, uh, 10, uh, 10, or sorry, 10, 11, and 11. What the heck are we doing? I'm looking at potential research locations, and we could be getting so much better of a bonus. So I feel really stupid right now. So what I'm going to do, uh, let's see, that's, this one here, its soul would give us energy research of 26%. This one here, we, in um, uh, Asilis Major uh, territory, would give us a plus 30. But you know what? We're allies with them. They should have no problem with us setting up a, a research base there. So let's go ahead and click on that. And uh, let's go ahead and set up a energy research uh, station, and that'll give us a, a plus thirty percent. That's 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 amazing. Oh man, I, f I feel like such an idiot right now. Uh, so after that, oh, let's see, we've got energy research. Uh, what's the next thing we're looking at? High tech. Uh, let's see, high tech research. That's what eighteen percent. And I don't think there's uh, something higher than that. Let's take a look down the list here. Uh, eighteen seems to be the the highest. There's a couple places here that got nice scenery bonuses I could set up resort resort bases on, but uh, so energy, yeah, we're we're, we're pretty much max. But let's go ahead and uh, click on this place here and send uh, a high tech research station there for uh, actually, yeah, there we go, and that will give us uh, a bonus, a better bonus for high tech research. Now, what about weapons research? Right here, uh, that's within our territory. Uh, we should be setting up a weapons research station there. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and get the we have those bases queued up, and then hopefully that will help uh, our uh, our research uh, speed up a little bit more because, um, dang, we could have had such a uh, such a higher higher bonus for such a uh, I will say a longer t uh, amount of time. It's really disappointing that I've uh, I haven't been on top of that. Uh, you know, on that note though, we did see uh, that there were some potential places for um, resort locations, right? So I want to find places, you know, within my territory or very close that I could be setting up resort bases. So like uh, Devil's Inferno, that looks like a cool place. Uh, let's go ahead and send uh, set up a, a, a resort base there. Yeah, there we go. We'll we'll get some more money from tourism. Uh, what about you, Blee, from the ancient monolith? 
Uh, you know what? We'll set, we'll set up an, another, another resort base there. Uh, we'll, we'll really, we're really gonna, uh, capitalize on, uh, the, uh, we'll see, uh, on our tourism to get, give us some extra cash. Uh, I, I think this will, this will work. I, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't, but, you know, if, if, if I'm doing something wrong, if, if this will not work, please let me know, and I'll, we'll say cancel these projects immediately. Uh, but, uh, they, uh, it looks like, let me see, Great Temple of Asilus Major, yeah, we could set up another resort base there. And, uh, scenery bonus, this place looks like a nice place, the Trader's Pit. There we go, another one. So, hopefully that'll bring in some extra income and, once again, boost our economy even more so that we can buy more guns to blow up more things. Yes. Alright, so the Tekken Corporation has uh, yet another deadly plague that has broken out. Uh, we got a nice little red icon down there. And uh, it also appears that the Roto Prime uh, Collective, these guys here, and the Great Meridian Alliance are no longer at war. Which is unfortunate. I, I was really hoping to see them tear each other apart. Um, so Strike Force Charlie has been refueled and is heading up there. And we also have Strike Force Alpha heading on into uh, the Gazuria system. So let's go ahead and see how that plays out. All right, here we go. We, uh, we'll say our, our Strike Force Alpha is just starting to warp on in around uh, Gazuria 1. And let's see what they can do against those defensive bases. You guys may have uh, been able to take on Strike Force Bravo, but Strike Force Alpha. These guys have got the firepower. Uh, let's see here. I, I actually think this might be a close fight. And by close fight, I don't mean a close fight at all. Uh, however, the ship... Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Uh, one of our... Is that our capital ship? Yes, one of our capital ships is being hit really hard. I need you out of there. <gasps> no! Don't destroy my capital ship! I will be very happy, sad. I mean sad. I mean sad and angry. I don't mean happy at all. I don't know why that word even crossed my lips. <sighs> Is he gonna get out of there? Is he gonna get out of there in time? Come on, get out, get out. This guy right here is our, one of our capital ships. He's very heavily damaged. And is he out? I think he's out. I think he made, yes, he warped out. All right, so we didn't lose one of our capital ships. That's great. Uh, Millennium Falcon appears to be taking some damage as well. And it has escaped. Awesome. So our two capital ships, our big two capital ships, uh, took extensive damage, but were able to escape. That's that's fine. That's good. Uh, our cruiser, they 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 helped out with, with how they could, and it's up to our cruisers now to finish the job off. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we are going to be able to uh, take this. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the status of uh, Strike Force Alpha. We have one ship that uh, is uh, actually yeah, we're, we've got one cruiser that's going down. Darn it. So, you know, we will have some losses here, but uh, overall, the Gazurians are definitely going to be uh, taking the brunt of, uh, we'll say, the, the damage here. Uh, the Kenneth Prime Territory has agreed to trade the rare and valuable resource in Tabia Fluid with us. Thanks, guys! I, I appreciate it. Uh, now, the only f Ooh. No, that's right. All of our troops are on the troop transports. I was going to say, I hope that uh, our, our capital ships didn't have any uh, troops on board. That would have been uh, disappointing, but there we go. And our, our uh, we are we have made planet fall. And uh, actually, we are currently. I'm really hoping our our, our troops uh, are still in space. Yes, we still have. Actually, we don't have a whole lot of space. Ooh, I don't know if we're gonna take it. Let's see here. Planet type, uh, fortified line. Come on, drop those extra guys down on the planet. We. Uh, we need to be able to take this planet. I'm not sure if we brought enough troops. Uh, you guys have... Come on. Come on, focus, guys. I need you to drop off everyone you have. Where are the other the other troops? There's still, like, 400 troops. There's two infantry and two special forces that we could be using here. Oh, I, I'm willing to bet it's on my capital ship. It's on my freaking capital ship that took off, isn't it? Let me see, uh, Strike Force Alpha, these guys over here. Millennium Falcon, you have two troops with you. Yeah, my, so my two capital ships actually were carrying some of my troops. Uh, and as such, they, uh, 
Yeah, as such, I'm not, I don't think we're gonna be able to take the planet. Darn it! Uh, now Strike Force Bravo. Let's go ahead and get uh, them up here as well, because I have a feeling Strike Force Alpha is a little bit more of a, we'll say, in a weakened state, and the Xurians are probably gonna be sending in uh, backup. Yeah, I don't think the, uh, that we're gonna be able to take this as easily as I thought we were. I, you know, I figured we'd come on in, you know, wreck everything, and then it'd be no problem. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. Just everyone, get out. That sucks. Uh, we sh like they they, sh they should be able to fend off th these guys, uh, but I'm so indecisive. I'm such a terrible tactician. I'm like, run away! Wait, no, I changed my mind. Destroy everything. Okay. Stay in system. Drop the troops on the ground. Ah. Uh. Because, basically my thought process, I'll explain to you why I was kind of going, uh, is because, uh, you know, I was like, okay, they need to get out because they can't take out all these reinforcements. But then I'm like, well, what about the guys on the ground? I don't want to just waste all those troops. So I'm kind of going back and forth, back and forth, what I should do. And, uh, yeah. It's because I'm, I'm really concerned about losing those capital ships, and I really, just, I just do not want to lose them. Dang. You guys are just sending your troops into a meat grinder. Now, hopefully we've weakened them enough, uh, but I'm gonna definitely need to recruit some more troops. Because, uh, this, this invasion has been a failure. Yep. Okay, guys, uh, so... That's been, that's been a failure. Oh, do you have some guys with you? You do, but it's not gonna be enough to turn the tide of the battle at this point. No, we've lost. We have definitely, definitely lost. Uh, wow. I'm almost tempted to just keep my, my, uh, Strike Force Alpha here in, uh, system just to... Just to tear, the, tear them apart. I'm, I'm really curious as to what their military is sitting at right now. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, let's see. Military strength. We have knocked them down to 15th place. Wow. That's amazing. All right, guys, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead home. Go repair. We're, we'll, we'll try again next time. Oh wow! That 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 has severely crippled the, the entire Gazurian military. We we failed our invasion. We're gonna go ahead and try again. But uh, dang! Oh oh, and I forgot about them. I f I, I missed. I completely missed the fight here with. Uh, by Incian Prime 1. Okay, so Strike Force Charlie. Uh, looks like they, they, they were in a fight and looks like they probably took something out, but... Yeah, that's cool. Anyways, guys, uh, I am out of time, uh, as is probably ev evident by the fact that my, my commentary is all, all over the place and I'm really scatterbrained because I'm distracted. So we're gonna go ahead and save the game as LP28. LP28. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and end things here. Next time we will, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll say, uh, recruit up a bunch of troops. We're gonna go ahead once again and try to take over, uh, Gazuria 1. I'm, I'm fairly confident we'll be able to do it, uh, do it this time. And, you know, if, since we won't have to withdraw some of our ships that are carrying troops. Uh, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna continue pushing in against the Gazurian uh, Collective. Like, I, I, I really wanna make, grab at least one planet. I really wanna uh, expand my territory a little bit, uh, there. Uh, so that'll, that'll be, that'll be cool. And, uh, I, I don't know, maybe we, we need to start considering who our, our next candidate for, uh, joining, what's we'll say, our, our mutual defense pact, our little empire will be. Well, we'll figure that out next time, though. So anyways, if you like the video, you like the content, and you'd like to see more, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comments section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.